My name is Bella. I'm a class of 2020 graduate. I've been interning at a place called AIA, which I love. I'm learning a lot and I've been reconnecting with friends and family because I did used to live here. Um, yeah, and publishing a book. My book, it's called Scarlet and the Ancient Amulet. And I would say it's a cross between like an Indiana Jones and Magic Treehouse book and that there's adventure, but it's also fantasy. It's things that could never really happen. I would say that my book journey definitely started in high school. My favorite class that I've ever taken was creative writing with Ms. Moran. I finally took it in senior year and I was like, wow, like maybe this is what I want to do with my life. My main source of inspiration for writing it is my younger brother. He was in online school and I just remember walking by his room and feeling terrible for him because he's a, he's a kid. He shouldn't have to deal with pandemics and being stuck in his house. He should be out like playing tag with his friends and learning how to grow up. And I decided that I wanted to write a children's book for kids who are in similar situations so they could have almost an escape from reality. I remember vividly walking in down the like gray cement steps, freaking out. I didn't know what was gonna happen. I am foreign country, foreign people. And I remember people just automatically coming up to me and welcoming me. And in that moment, I knew that I was gonna be okay. Everyone is just so nice. I have made best friends. Like, I don't know if you can see it. I can show you maybe, but <laughs> I have this fridge and I put like all my friends' pictures up on it to make me feel more at home. And they're like all milk and friends. You can see like the milk and library in the background of one of them. But that was one thing that definitely stood out for me from my milk and experience is that people were just incredible. And that that's also teachers. The teachers there, they care about their students so much. I like there's it's insane. I remember staying late after classes and teachers just being like, let me help you. Like, you're not going to leave until you understand this concept, whether that was Lishma or even just staying for lunches. Like, it's it's so beautiful to me that the teachers really cared about what like their students were going through. If you had something going on at home, they made sure that they were there for you, not as just an educator, but also as a friend, which is super valuable. I had so many different opportunities to do whatever it was that I wanted. If there wasn't a club, you could make it. And there was a club for everything, so you didn't really have to make it, but you still had that opportunity to do so. I remember being a part of student ambassadors or student council and all that stuff and being able to just make so many different friends from that and become close with my different teachers. Like me and Mrs. Rani, we're tight because of student council. I miss her so much. The college counseling community is insane. I could not have gone through my college process without it. I remember all my friends from different high schools saying how stressed they were. And I remember being like, I wasn't really that stressed because I felt like I had like someone helping me the whole time and making sure that I was okay. Obviously it was stressful, don't get me wrong, but I remember feeling like I could do it because people helped me when I needed help and that they truly cared for me and my individual experience. I honestly wish that I could just have one more day. I, cause everyone's, when, when it's the end of the year, everyone's ready to go, like we wanna go to college, you know? But I, I honestly had an amazing experience in high school and I really wish I could have one more day, one more week. One piece of advice for um, people at Milken or just high schoolers in general is to make sure that you take time out of your day just to notice the beautiful things and just change something, you know? Like go to the Zen garden with some friends, talk. Don't just, don't become like a robot. You know, there's so much going on around you. Again, take opportunities. There's so many cool things that Milken can offer you. And it's really easy to just fall into this routine and do your own thing, which is good. Everyone has their own thing that they do, but it's also important to go out and make friends or join new clubs because there's so many things that you wouldn't realize that you'd be interested in if you hadn't joined. Like join the chess club for a day. Maybe you'll hate it, maybe you'll love it. You don't know, but you, you won't know that unless you actually try it. So go out and try it. Carpe diem, seize a day and just live your life to the fullest because high school ends quicker than you realize. And it's gonna go by in the blink of an eye, which I didn't understand when someone told that to me. They're like, you have to like slow down and really enjoy it. I'm like, what do you mean? Like it's taking forever to graduate, but it really does go by fast. So just enjoy it because you're only a high schooler once. Whatever that means to you, just live your life and live it to the fullest.